This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. First of all, we were Wheel Kinetics for 13 or 14 years. Uh, we decided to upgrade our website, upgrade the way we do business, upgrade everything. Um, you can read about it on our blog, why we rebranded, how we did it, um, along with articles about the, uh, the current used vehicle increase in value. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, but uh, it's real fun. Uh, our new website's cool. Let's get on with it, all right? Uh, this truck is a 6.0 two-wheel drive regular cab F550. It's a 2007 F550 regular cab. Obviously a flatbed work truck. Um, has low miles, 119,827 miles. I have to make this snappy. Cosmetically, it'll speak for itself, but I got a lot to tell you about this bad boy. It's This is a good, really good truck. In fact, I just had a guy who saw this looking at it and he's uh, in love. I don't know if he has the money to buy something like this, but he might. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, it was a new car dealer trade to Redlands Ford in Redland, California. It was sold guaranteed on a green light to us uh, with $16,000 in dealer installed upgrades to the motor, okay? I do have proof of that. Um, we sent it to our shop to confirm all this stuff. It does have reman heads, so it's got new heads, new injectors, sec uh, a, a second stage uh, bulletproof oil cooler, external oil cooler, um, ARP head studs, bulletproof EGR cooler. Um, according to the invoices on this, $10,000 in parts, $5,100 in labor at Hansel Ford in California. Um, the AC wasn't working, so it needed a new, uh, we put a new AC condenser and a new compressor and charged it. Uh, we also did an oil change and a detail okay um like i said i'm gonna walk around this thing pretty quickly cosmetically it speaks for itself it's a word truck i don't think that anybody's going to um be expecting a beauty queen but as far as work trucks go it actually is really good looking for for a work truck um let me get this guy first of all i'm gonna reach in here and start the truck because i want some ac it's 114 right now and i'm not in the mood to fry much longer all right let's see First of all, here's your monsoon. This is the first one, all right? Uh, check for air conditioning leak, lube oil filter, air, con air conditioning, condenser, and compressor were replaced. Uh, I spent $703 there. Getting that stuff done. All right, uh, what else? Let's see. Also, interesting, the uh, oil pressure gauge like to bounce up and down and make noise. We put a new uh, oil pressure switch and, and pigtail on it, uh, and now that's fixed, all right? Um, here are some of the uh, invoices. It'll be in the ad, too. This is for the compressor. Um, this is for the condenser. This will be in the ad. You'll be able to see it. This is the actual... They wouldn't give me the actual copies from Hansel Ford because, of course, they don't want you to come in and say, I want to warranty this stuff. Um, it was done 5-1 of 14. Uh, actually started 421 of 14, finished 5-1 of 14. Um, heads, right here, right? 1500 bucks, 1400 bucks. Um, eight injectors, nozzle assemblies, those are injectors. Bulletproof oil cooler, bu bulletproof cooler kit, um, 2345, that's the external. ARP head studs, right? Um, then you see right here, 10,100 labor. I mean, yeah, labor and then Ooh, I'm sorry, Parks. Parks is, is $10,100 and then $5,100 in labor, I guess is what's happening here. It's a lot of money, dude. Uh, it's a lot of money. Um, we also uh, have the actual window sticker copy here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Just the cabin chassis part of it was like nineteen grand, and then they add, they add a bunch of stuff to it. Then what, $39,850. There's your VIN ending in uh, 381, by the way. Um, they had the 12 foot contractor box uh, for 10 4, and they end up with 50,275. Then they mark it up another 10 or 15 percent. So they probably sold this truck for right around 55 brand new. Um, and then, of course, they made the motor unbelievable. All right. Um, so that's that. That's that. Here is the title. Um, this is the company that uh, sold it. Still point. Um, there's us, Grody Ford, boom, okay? All right, let's see. 
think that that's about it on that stuff. I'm gonna save all this stuff. All this stuff can be found in the in the uh, ad. It's all scanned in. You'll be able to see it. There's a uh, a uh, manual right there. Air conditioning. I'm not. I'm looking very forward to getting in here because it is freaking hot. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like this got some pull out. I'm not sure how this works. Hmm. I wonder how that works where you don't pinch your finger here. I think it's missing something there on the top, right? Like like a pull on there. Somebody's to weld something on there to make it go up, right? Got this one. More of the same. More another sliding box there. See, these things obviously come out. They also make noise. I think they're irritating, but probably worth it. This looks like it holds ramps or something. Like you put some ramps in there, and maybe you could roll up some equipment and drive it into the back here. Probably do some new wood in the back. So I would imagine anyone doing buying this truck probably knows how to do the woodworking part of this, right? handle is hot because that would be in the sun that felt good holy shit it is freaking warm let my brother in here he's uh doing pictures right now all right we have 119,905 is the mileage now okay you can see that or not the glare This is my first video of three to do, and I'm not looking forward to number three. By number three, I'll be dead. <laughs> it's hot. All right, there's your Ford stamp here on the fender, so it's the original part. Ford stamp on the core support. Here's where you see the external oil cooler filter right there. Someone did some uh, shocks recently. We didn't do that. So they took care of this thing, man. by it all. There's your Ford stamp on the hood, so you got an original hood, Ford stamp here, Ford stamp here. Wow. This is quite a rig right here. Alrighty then. Got crank windows. You do have a tilt wheel and cruise, which is unusual. That was special order. Usually you get the Crank. Let me get my seatbelt on here real quick. Usually you get the uh, power windows with tilt and cruise, but I guess the, this person didn't really care about uh, power windows. You also don't generally don't get a CD player. Radio works. That's cool. There's your trailer, right? Cup holder. Seats look great. Not really sure why you spend sixteen thousand dollars on the motor but i'm grateful there's tow on and off right uh what else windshield wipers bum, bum, bum. all right let's uh open the gate and go for a ride all right this thing is uh being sold here in tucson if you come to tucson to drive it home you'll pay the following you'll pay your state tax rate whatever that is plus our city tax of 2.7 percent and a $250 dock fee. Um, if you pay by wire and ship this thing out of state, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill the title out with your name or your company's name and address. We will say, by the way, our road sucks, and this is a 550, so if you know what I'm talking about, uh, <laughs> it would be a lot better if I was trailering a 10,000 pound trailer right now, because the suspension is quite stiff. Anyway. Um, anyway, uh, once we receive full payment, once uh, we have that money, we'll fill out the title, your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. You will have the vehicle shipped to you. 
the title will be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up. And once the shipper shows up with your truck, you'll take the title and the uh, truck to motor vehicles in your city, state, and you will uh, uh, get plates. Very simple, right? Um, what else? La, 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 la. Deposits, $500. Oh, by the way, if you need help with shipping, let me know early in the process. I can help. I can actually do it for you if you want. We can roll the price of the shipping into the into the uh, deal. Um, you know, if you need help uh, with the shipping, we can do that all for you. We give you phone numbers to call and you can do it yourself. Or you can be like many of our multiple time buyers and just do the shipping yourself. Um, some of our guys have bought, well, we got Kyle in San Diego. He's on number 12 or 13. Um, he hasn't paid for and shipped before we even know they sold. <laughs> He's pretty good. <laughs> uh, but if you need help, let us know. Obviously, you want your truck quickly, and I can help if you don't know how to do it, okay? Um, deposits, $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, this truck will stay for sale, okay? See, now this is what we need on our street. We are just on pavement. <laughs> nice, smooth pavement, right? Um, anyway, so get your deposit in. Last part of every video, I say the same thing. This thing is rock solid mechanically obviously but i'm still gonna say this we have uh no salesman to pay so you don't have to pay their commissions when you buy from us uh we don't have an attendant serving scones and lattes and sandwiches in our lounge with games and all the stuff for the kids that's at the auto mall which is on this road about a half mile west like east of here okay uh you can pay for that too when you buy a vehicle over there you can't buy it you, you're not paying for it with us because we don't have it okay um, they also know at the auto mall that they sold you this truck and something broke that you would have to fix it that they would have to fix it all right and they should after all they just crushed you they, <laughs> they also include five to seven hundred dollars on every sale for the uh, future repair possibility okay because they don't want to repair with their money so they uh, uh, make sure that uh, they have enough money set aside in case you show up all right so they build that into the price of the vehicle we don't uh, we don't build anything like that uh, salesman uh, lattes location none of that stuff uh, because we don't have to we also don't feed, uh, factor in uh, uh, future repairs because we're not repairing your truck your truck is your truck the second you're the owner and you will fix your truck with your money okay um, if that doesn't work for you we don't have a single vehicle on our property that we can sell you because that's how we roll. We save you the money up front. You're making a uh, great buy. In fact, the guy who wanted to buy this truck, who was just here, who saw it through the fence, he's one of our neighbors, he owns an asphalt company. He even said to me, he says, you know that really nice truck you sold my wife? Like, he bought a really nice GMC gas truck uh, for like 28,000. Uh, she sold it for 35. <laughs> like, uh, that kind of hurts. She made $7,000 and drove it for a year, okay? Uh, now, my point being is you're sell you're buying this vehicle at a great price. Please don't call us and say, oh, it needs an injector or something or something. And I want to, you know, because you're not going to get it. And that's rude. You just saved a fortune. Use some of the money that you saved to uh, fix your truck. Okay? Take ownership. Um, that being said, this is a 550. It's a big boy and it runs great. Shifts great. The air is blowing ice cold, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, King Ranch in the middle there, that truck in the middle. I'd do that one next. The King Ranch seats get so freaking hot. Ugh, it's gonna be a swamp. I have to do this this one next also. I think I'm gonna do that one next and save the worst for last. That's an XLT with that's a cloth seat. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna eh, maybe I should just do the what do you think? We should have a vote. I wish we could do a poll. What should Roger do next? Should he take the pain now or should he, you know, oh my god. It's 114 people. It's not a joking matter. My daughter escaped. She went to Mexico. She's on the beach. My son is at the pool right now, and I'm here. Perfect. Anyway, um, really nice running truck. Um, nothing going on here. If you need a work truck that's badass, this is, this is the truck. All right? Thank you for your time.